Welcome to Megalogamia. My name's Tom. I'm Danny. And this is Destination Earth. Star. Oh, Earth Star. Destination Earth. Star Earth. Earth? Is Earth a star? Maybe. No. Is that why we call not. it Earth Star? Absolutely not. This game is a very, very cool, I was playing around with it, is a very, very, very cool flight sim. Yeah, this is something, this is the thing is, is it may look like one of the other million, by the way, Gary Kitchen. And Bob Harris. Good job, guys. This game is actually really good. Gary Kitchen was pretty famous back in the day for his programming, so. Um, <clears throat> Alex Demio, too, as well, I believe, was known. But um, basically, this game looks like a boring space uh, shooter game that could just be any boring space shooter game, but it really isn't. It's a little bit more than that. Um, the It's a combination of, like, actually good decision making when making a game like this mm -hmm. and it's got some like solid graphics and all everything the ui the stuff i yeah. noticed matters. matters like all those little black boxes you see at the bottom and all those numbers they matter yeah they mean something and the map may seem like it's in an intrusive place but it's in your peripheral vision and it doesn't really get in the way and you're always looking at it while you're playing so it, it becomes really the layout is not bad here yeah so not gonna... to mention the 3d effect is Pretty, for some reason, it's just like oddly pleasing to go through space. So I'll kind of go over what I what I learned on this plan. So we've got the grid. We are on the grid. Yeah, and it shows uh, you which we way can, you're going. We can rotate, but we also have a height meter. Yeah. So we're up and down as well, which is important for when you're trying to find plants or fly stuff. So right now we've moved over into a sector with a planet. Now if you, you can, see yeah. that lower square has the planet. That little that's, honeycomb in the lower right. That's telling us where we need to be. So it's just that is it's that brown poopy dot. So all you have to do is fly into it, and it'll orbit you, and then it will, I guess it's uninhabited. Some yeah. plants give you fuel, some give you weapons. Gotcha. So you want to check all the zeros. You want to check all the zeros. So it also says, if you look down there, um, enemies four. Now you see the one, two, one on the map? Where's the enemies four? Right oh, down, I see, I see. Right it, above yeah. energy. Okay. And so there's that one, two, uh, one on the map. Mm -hmm. That means in that sector there's like one enemy. I can fly diagonal. Yep. Yeah. There's one enemy, there's two enemies, and there's one enemy. That's Correct. what that means. And then the A and B are also other planets that like fully refill you. They're um, more important planets. Yep. So the other thing too is see those two like bars with the double dash lines? Yeah. That's my speed. The okay. lower one is what I have it set to, and the upper one is what I'm at. So I could set it That's to really two, cool. but it takes time to slow. Okay. And if I go all the way to max, oops, I'm in the sector though, so I'm gonna slow it down. It is really easy to overshoot planets. You don't wanna, yeah, go too yeah. crazy. You want to slow down. Yeah. Once you get the speed memorized and stuff. Yeah, well, once you understand how that works, it's good. All right, so let's see. Uninhabited. All right, so we'll head north. So we're just, like, examining Up. the planets and looking. Yep. So what is the objective? To kill so, all the enemies? Or? Yep, and you can also go hyperspace if you go max speed. And that lets you travel around super quick. That's we'll a really cool effect. It is, it is. This game is really well designed. It's got that total space vibe going too. With the it music. does, yeah. It's very, very cool. I'll have to slow down some more. Because I'm probably. Oh, are we? Oh, there it is. Planet, the yeah. purple planet. Oh, oh, gee, look shit. at it. Yeah. So <laughs> we just barely overshot it. It looks like. Yeah, you want it. You have to hit it dead on. So I'm, I might slow down one more and then go. There, there it is. is. Orbit achieved. Yeah, we barely. We're just missing it. So let's see. Weapon, Weapon supply, supply partially replenished. All right. Yeah. So it says weapon. Our laser. Yeah, so we have a we have a laser, okay. and but the laser will overheat if we shoot too much. Gotcha. So like I said, everything matters in terms of where stuff is. This is weapon torpedo. So you got torpedoes. Yep, Ruby so got laser two. and, and torpedoes. torpedoes. Yep. That's, that's like, oh shit. I've never seen many ruby lasers in games. That's a good idea. Go down, line it's it a up. Ruby planet. Yep, and then I'm probably going to go up from here to that one where the bad guy is, and we'll get into a fight. Okay. Fighting is not super complicated. It's mostly just... Blast them. 100,000 100, energy. I'm surprised that this game uses such large numbers. Well, but look how much energy we use to just yeah. do things. So we're going to hyperspace. But there's levels where your energy meter, like everything's oh, going to start to count. I am yeah. sure. I got through this first section, and it takes about 15 minutes. So if you look... Look at that guy run. There's... See that top oh, where the yeah. planet is? Whoa, shit. It's not gonna hit. All right, someone. Ooh, get him. Yeah. We don't want to go. Too Actually, the enemy forward. ship looks good. It doesn't just it does. look like a. It looks. It's like a 3D ship. It's very yeah. cool. And they will change their speed on you, and you kind of got to avoid them. Like for the fact that this is a 2D NES game. This yeah. Is very pretty cool advanced. For like the only thing is it's uh, inverted controls for flying, which. You can't turn off. It 
you can't, and it doesn't seem like there's no options. Yeah. Oh, so see here, we're in the one with the two. So, so they the, split the up. ship split up, and there's two of them. So it does the green one and the red one. So basically, it takes where the planets normally go. Yeah. And uh, are they kind of the little Tie Fighter looking? Train? They they look like the the transport ship from Star Wars. Yeah, they do. They do. There's one. So I'm actually gonna skip that another one, but that's actually cool. I didn't know they could change. Uh, change sectors on their own. Uh, the other thing, too, is you can't turn in hyperspeed. Okay, so you have you to go only in straight, go straight lines. lines. Yeah. So You can only turn when you're going sublight. I just think it's really cool that it drifts you in sublight. Like, you you have yeah. to... You have to actually slow down. Alright, partial damage repaired. Okay. So the people that do inhabit planets want to help you. They do, yeah. I'm not sure if there's a storyline yeah. in this game. Do not have the manual here, unfortunately. No. This would be a very cool game, though. I need to move my game collection over here so we can actually, like, go through the manuals and everything. Yeah, okay. This game is very, very cool, though. I'm very impressed so far with it. I really like flight sims and space sims. So, see, I want to use that top screen there yeah. to line it up. Because I have the radar, and then I also have the top screen. For where his ship is in comparison to mine, because I could be above him or below him. Ooh, there it is. There he is. Er. Let me find Open. Er. So I gotta slow. And to speed up and slow down, you actually have to hold the B key and press up and down. So that's what gives you that six axis of speed. You just barely. Ooh, we got him. Okay. So there's one. A planet and, and B, B planet, and then one and we win. Those and I don't like the map looks the same from the last time. So what does H and P mean? Uh, where? On the map, the the info grid. Uh, there's no H and P. Top left is P, in the where the text is. Uh oh, P. Probably stands for. Uh, I, that's probably your position. Oh, position. And you're then right. H is probably height. your height. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, and when you press down, look, it says plus 100. Okay, yeah. I get it. So you have coordinates, basically. Yeah. Which means there's probably something secret and hidden in this game. Yeah. So weapon spot. So I'm gonna take out the last ship. Then I'm gonna go to B. I think B will full heal me. And then there's a base that I have to go to. So yeah, you can't turn while going faster than light. You gotta go straight lines. There we go. So he's a little down and far out. Stop okay, shooting. Around here somewhere. Took pot shots. Oh, I'm going too fast. And going too fast definitely hurts you. Sound like it's hitting him. Come back here, sucker. There he goes. There we go. Got so now it's attacking Sector enemies. secure. Yeah. Attack the enemy base. Oh, the base is revealed. Yep, the base is revealed. Was so it already there before? Or? No, it wasn't. So I'm going to go down to the non-highlighted B. And I think that'll heal me. Because I got my damage at the bottom there. Okay. So, I have to turn. so two blinking red things is bad? Or is that how much health Yeah, so have? that's how much health I... That's, I think that's how many hits I've taken. Yeah, because I think I had none. indicates damage. Yeah, I had none before. There it is. Ooh, slow down. Shoot it. Yeah, see, it doesn't like you going super fast. So it's gonna be a little deliberate here. Yeah. At least the orbit happens quickly. Yeah, it does. It pulls you in pretty quick. All right, repair, damage repair, wow, everything. Hey, recharge, recharge. gives you double. All right. Yep, so it gives you a million. B for boosted up. All right, so we fly up here, and we'll be at the B, which is the enemy base. It's actually a planet we have to orbit as well. There you go. Alright. Orbit chief, please stand by. Dun. Underground base located. Commence attack. Dun, 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 so we fly dun, dun, into it, which is that's a, that is also a very cool animation. And so it looks like we are under yep, so we're underground. So we can shoot. 
Oh, yeah. Torpedoes, too. It's like... Whoa, it's also a space shooter. Yeah, it's a side... Whoa, no, 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 this just is? It's like Scramble, kind of. Where it's in a cave and there's rockets on the ground that you need to avoid. Or shoot down. Oh. Well, you want to you wanna bait them. You want to so, bait them up. This is the thing I am very bad at, which is uh, side-scrollers. I could help you here if you need it. Yeah. But yeah, it's multi-path, it looks like, too. Just be very casual. This is very much like Scramble-ish, where you're going through a cave. I believe uh, your brother loves Scramble. Yeah. In games like that. He also likes Lunar Lander as well. Yeah, Lunar Lander is fun. So, though. when he was here, he... <laughs> What do those mean? I don't know. And I picked it up. That thing at the top changed. Yeah. God, don't get hit. This is this is my kind of bullet hell where there's only like, th you know, four enemies on screen, but I'm still gonna lose to it. Whoa! You picked the path. Yeah. Oh shit! How are you gonna know? Oh, I have the things that I can fire behind me. Oh. Oh, you definitely wanna fire those sometimes. This is a trippy game. I really want to see the next part, but no, I don't know if I'm gonna lose. That's game over. But I have a feeling that this is how this game goes. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's a boss at the end of this. Maybe. Maybe uh, you just have to bomb the base. Yeah. I don't know. It's very. It's got a very Star Wars feel to it, almost. Yeah. Honestly, a very very cool like That's space good. sim. That, I thought that was good. Yeah. Flight sim style game. So check it out if you can. Destination Earth Star. Yeah. Very Earth is cool. definitely a star, so it's not Good lying Good graphics there. for an S game. Like, there's 3D enime ships and yeah. everything. I like the kind of boy in his blob. Uh, there's games often share, like, sound, like, sections where they mm -hmm. play the same kind of sound effects for things. And I always like that for, like, exploration. Yeah. That, that whole sector of sound that the S used, so it's really fitting. All right, we will see you next time. We'll see you next time on Destination Megalogamia. Exactly. Star. Peace. <laughs> Later. If you like that video, go ahead, give it a like, and click subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like that, click Lieutenant Surge. If you've got an opinion about the video, go ahead and leave a comment.